as a new wife and a woman how do you express your thoughts and your feelings clearly and actively listen to your partner this is what i will be discussing with you today and this is based on some questions that i have received and i will be answering today so let's go to the first question how do you communicate with someone with a different personality trait uh seeing you a wife having uh, been an introvert and your husband being an extrovert or vice versa i've always been somebody who thinks that open communication at any point is very vital for the success of any relationship and for a woman to actively express her feelings you have to have a set time where you openly communicate with your husband or your partner so per the question you're an extrovert maybe like me and your partner is an introvert nobody should know your partner more than you do so you have to identify your partner's best mode of communication best time to communicate with them and the best season where you think that having an open communication with them will not be a big deal and you both can have a good or you know expected result so when you know your partner you know the right time to communicate with them and please do know that communication is not just about talking like i am talking right now there are different modes of communication you can communicate through your dressing through your speech through your reaction you know women we have a lot of actions and reactions and you can communicate through all those means with regards to this particular topic you want to ensure that there is a set time you know when best to communicate to your husband or your partner based on your your identification of the best time in season how do you avoid being a nagging wife being an active listener is one trait that a lot of us do not have um women especially because you know i'm mostly talking about women we always want to talk, 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 make your feelings, your emotions and everything known. But one trick that would really help any woman to express this or have, to express her feelings rather clearly and be somebody who listens actively to the partner is to be an active listener. And how do you do this? You make sure that your full attention is on your partner when they are communicating with you. You make sure that you are not talking back when they are talking. Allow them to, you know, finish their thoughts and then you can come in. Allow them, give them full attention. Don't be on your phone. You know, women, we pride ourselves with this um, thing that we can multitask. The time where your partner is having a conversation with you is not the time for you to multitask. Give them your full and undivided attention and listen to them. You don't have to be the one talking all the time. Let's also cultivate the habit of being the listener. Listen to them. Nod when you need to nod. You know, react when you need to react. Let them know that you are there and present and you're listening to them at that particular time. If you're new to this channel, thank you for coming. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I love you. Thanks for your support. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. When you are feeling hurt, how do you communicate? As a woman, you need to be honest and open. Be honest with your partner. I mean, I've always said that when the two of you came together, Per the plan of God, you became one. Don't let something happen in your life, no matter how difficult the issue is. Don't let it be a third party who tells your partner about it. Openly express your feeling when you are hurt, when you are in distress, when you face difficult time, or when you even compromise. Make sure you are open and honest about it. And despite the fact that you need to be open and honest about it, the timing matters a lot. You can be open and honest, but at the wrong time. So you want to make sure you're being open and honest, but at the right time. How do you communicate your thought to a typical egoistic and bossy partner well proverb says that a calm person is wise as a woman you have to be respectful no matter the situation of your husband no matter how egoistic or bossy your partner is be respectful of their feelings and their opinion all of the time no name calling no insults regardless of the situation and you know 
be calm this is one thing that is very difficult for women i'm saying that because it used to be very difficult for me to and i'm still in the process of learning to you know be calm when you're being for example shouted at or when your ego is being bruised to um your ability to be calm in the face of an heated argument is is a big deal so can you try to make sure that you are respectful and let it show through your countenance. Don't let it just be by the words you say. Let it show from your face, from your outlook. Just be calm. No insulting of your partner. No name calling. Remember that, especially if you have children, they are watching you and they are learning from you. So be respectful. When you disagree with your partner and you feel you are right, what should you do as a wife? Be willing to compromise. No two persons are alike. And you always, as two persons in a relationship, there will always be disagreements, whether you like it or not. You disagree with your partner on various topics and in different times. But you can disagree and still be your partner for that partner, you know? you don't like their opinion you don't agree with what they are saying you have to compromise so that at the end of the day you both get a yielded result or work out a solution that works for the both of you you can always disagree and then agree here are some additional tips that i think that could help you communicate effectively and clearly with your partner you have to be specific for example don't just say you are unhappy why are you unhappy what is making you unhappy be specific and then sometimes you have to use i i feel i am hurt you know and then do not talk to your partner as if they are the problem no address the problem not the person um, be specific about this lastly be open to feedback and take a break if you are overwhelmed or angry you can always revisit whatever topic it is you need to communicate about you can always revisit it later like i always say if nothing works for you prayer would always work god knows your partner better than you do so communicate with god and watch god work on your partner and as you're communicating with god as he's working on your partner make sure that you are also availing yourself for the holy spirit to work on you and with this i believe that your relationship or your marriage will work out smoothly just as god intended it to be in summary expressing your thoughts and feelings clearly and actively listening to your partner entails making time for regular communication being an active listener being honest and open being respectful being willing to compromise and i shared some additional tips with you like being specific being open to feedback taking a break when you need to remember that communication is key to successful relationships by actively communicating and listening to your partner you can build a stronger and more fulfilling relationship i like to leave you with a scripture so today i'm leaving you with colossians chapter 4 verse 6 which says that let your speech be always gracious seasoned with salt so that you may know how to answer each person thank you for always being a part of my lovely online family so i come your way again next week it's a goodbye and enjoy the christmas